welcome back to the shop. I was thinking about putting some kind of storage unit in that window. If I build a box to put in that window, on the outside of the house, you're going to be able to see the backside of the box. Now, I guess you could put up some mini blinds, but I think over time, sawdust and maybe cobwebs would cover those mini blinds and you'll be able to see that. So I was trying to come up with an idea where you would not see all that. And I think what I'm going to do is use this Rust-Oleum frosted glass to put over the window and then I can just put my box in it. Hopefully I've got enough to finish this window. This particular can has already done eight windows and three of those was done twice. So hopefully there's enough left in this can to do this particular window. And another thing I was wanting to do this for, when I'm filming in the garage, a lot of times the sun is just beaming in that window affecting the light. So if I can put something over that particular window, I can control the light in the garage. All right, y'all, so it's the next day. We're gonna put this frosted glass up. Now, if you wanna put this on like a bathroom window or an entryway window or a door window, you would want to tape off your door or wall and your frame so the spray don't get on it. Since we're in the shop, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to spray it over it. And then when we're done with it, I'm going to show y'all the windows that I put this on a few weeks ago. I'll show y'all an inside shot, outside shot, and I'll also show y'all a couple shots, what it looks like after dark and during the daylight hours. <laughs> y'all so we are done with the window turns out i had enough spray in it to get this window done and i'll show y'all some pics of all the other windows now this spray is not super durable once it gets on there even after it dries you can scratch it off with a razor blade all right y'all the first test i'm going to do is the fingernail test now this particular door i done probably four weeks ago this is the very first one i done so i'm gonna do the fingernail test first and i'm gonna do it down on the bottom of this window All right, y'all, that one done better than what I thought. I figured it'd actually scratch it off, but all it done was pretty much scuffed it up. When you paint something smooth, typically the paint don't stick to it good. So anyhow, that was the first test. The next test we're gonna do is the razor blade. All right, we got the razor blade. We're gonna try it out on the top of the door. And I got a feeling what this one's gonna do, but we're gonna try it anyhow. All right, I figured that's what it'd do, but the actual fingernail test is the one that surprised me. I figured it'd take it off too. So anyhow, I guess I'll be buying another can to touch up these spots that we tested out on. But as long as nobody messes with it, I think it'll last a pretty long time. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel already, hit the subscribe button and I'll see y'all on the next.